Just trust me, bro. The name you know. Dropping knowledge bombs on the web free flow. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. This week's takes cyborg tokenomics, lip 26 breakdown, butterfly team is growing. Let's check the Farcaster Melon game frame and wrap up with the beer taste. Today with Dorada special. This episode is brought to you by Cyborg. Cyborg is creating a mobile app that repurposes Twitter spaces for post live access via a Spotify like interface. Cyborg aims to create a creator owned platform leveraging Web3 for enhanced user engagement, monetization, and curation. Anna, what's up? Hi, Yakuza. Let's unpack the deal with Cyborg's tokenomics. This system is all about giving the power back to the people, from users to creators. First up, the SIB token itself. This bad boy isn't just for show. Hold on to your SIB tokens and you get a say in how Cyborg evolves, voting on changes and shaping the platform's future. But it gets even better. Imagine supporting your favourite podcasters on Cyborg and getting something out of it too. With proof of support, you can delegate your SIB tokens to creators, boosting their visibility and earning rewards for yourself based on the in-app revenue they generate. Win-win, right? Holding SIB tokens isn't just about rewards, it's about cred. The more SIB you have, the more rep you get within the app. Think of it as a VIP badge that unlocks exclusive perks and makes you a bigger cheese in the cyborg community. Feeling generous, Cyborg lets you use your SIB to buy content or tip creators directly. It's your way of saying thanks for the awesome content and fueling the creativity within the platform. And to top it all off, SIB token is tied to the success of Cyborg itself. Buyback mechanisms using in-app revenue are in place, meaning the better Cyborg does, the more valuable your SIB becomes. Now, let's talk about why this whole system matters. We've all been there stuck on platforms that prioritise profits over users. Cyborg flips the script with multi-stakeholder governance. This means decisions are made with input from everyone, not just some bigwigs behind the scenes. Think of it like Germany, where companies have to include worker representatives in their decisions. Cyborg brings that same collaborative spirit to the table. The core team, the users, the content creators, everyone has a voice. Here's how voting works. The core team gets a one-person, one-vote system to keep things fair. Users and investors with SIB tokens get to chime in too. It's an open system. Anyone can join the party. Content creators? Their voting power is based on their reputation and the revenue they generate within the app. This multi-layered approach avoids the pitfalls of purely token-based governance, where participation can be low. Cyborg ensures everyone has a stake in the game, fostering a fair and democratic platform that benefits everyone. Talking about empower users and creators, right? Impressive system Cyborg is building. Next up, Lip26. Tired of algorithmic overlords shoving content down your throat? Lip26 to the rescue. This groundbreaking proposal from ZK Ju, the mastermind behind Lip5, is all about putting you in control of your social media experience. Imagine a world where you curate your own newsfeed, not some faceless algorithm. Here's the magic proposal, user-owned algorithm tokens. These bad boys give you the power to personalize and own the algorithm that dictates what you see. No more irrelevant content cluttering your feed. Craft your feed, set the rules, specify your preferences and interests, and Lip26 tailors your feed to show you what you want to see. Why is this a game changer? Tired of the same repetitive content? Lip26 lets you curate a feed that reflects your unique taste. Power to the people. Shift the balance away from social media giants and towards the users. You decide what content matters. A more transparent web, Lip26 promotes a digital environment where user preferences, not algorithms, drive content delivery. Lip26 is more than just a proposal. It's a revolution, right? Check out the link for Lip26 in the newsletter and come join the discussion. Curious about how this one will evolve? All right, let's move over to Butterfly App. 
Mo, the mastermind behind Butterfly, just announced last week that James Finnerty is joining the team to supercharge their community engagement. James has been a die-hard Butterfly user since day one, always dropping valuable insights and feedback. Now he's officially on board to help them take things to the next level. What does this mean for Butterfly? Get ready for weekly community spaces, creator collaborations and a whole lot more. We, the Trust Me Bro crew, are also super excited for James and Mo. As big fans and exclusive hosts of Butterfly Spaces, this is a dream team in the making. But wait, there's more. Mo and James will be spilling the beans on the future of Butterfly this week on our Trust Me Bro Spaces. Join us Wednesday, June 26th at 7pm CET and get the inside scoop on what's buzzing at Butterfly. Link for the spaces in our newsletter. See you there, guys. I am fired up for Wednesday. Let's check out our forecaster frame of this week. This week, get ready for a fun and interactive frame from Melon Web 3. Buckle up for Melon Game. What's Melon Game? It's an awesome journey where you answer questions on a variety of topics. Just click on the frame and your brain muscles will get a workout. Answer correctly in the comments below and you might just win some sweet DGN tokens in the process. Here's the lowdown. Click an answer. Click the frame to see the questions and fire away your answers in the comments. Win DGN. Every right answer nabs you DGN tokens. Learn and play. It's not just about winning. It's about exploring new topics and having fun while you do it. Why this rocks? Melon Game is more than just a game. It's a way to engage with cool stuff, learn new things, and get rewarded for your knowledge. Whether you're a trivia buff, a deep thinker, or an eco-warrior, Melon Game has something for everyone. Ready to play? Check out the link in the newsletter, show us how much you know, and rack up those DGEN tokens. Big thanks to Melon Web 3 for this awesome frame. Let's wrap up with our beer taste, calling all beach bums and sunshine seekers. Craving a taste of paradise? Dorada Especial is your ticket to the Canary Islands in a bottle. Brewed with aloha, this Canarian classic uses a slow and steady fermentation process, resulting in a smooth and satisfying taste. Imagine yourself on a white sand beach, waves lapping at your feet, and a Dorada Especial in your hand, pure bliss. Fruity Fiesta, take a sip and let the flavours explode. A delightful hint of fruit mingles perfectly with a touch of yeast and hops, creating a perfectly balanced and refreshing brew. No overpowering bitterness here, just pure island vibes. Award-winning goodness, Dorada Especial isn't just delicious, it's award-winning. This beauty has brought home gold medals for its taste and selection, so you know it's the real deal. Crack open paradise, take a break from the ordinary and let Dorada Especial whisk you away to the Canary Islands. Crack one open, close your eyes and feel the warm breeze and taste of paradise on your tongue. Big thanks to Jean Ayala for the inspo. You know what's good, mate? Want to see Jean's original post? Check out the link in the newsletter. And that's it for this week. Thanks for listening or watching. Please collect this post on Lens to support the show and go follow us across all socials. Bye, everyone.